Okay, start recording for y'all. All right, awesome. Super excited for tonight. Who is new here? Who's new within their first two to three months? I want you to comment in the chat. I want everyone, I want everyone to comment in the chat and tell me how long you've been in the business for. I want to see it. I want to see it. Keep them flowing. Keep them flowing. <laughs> Carrie, you sent that to me personally. I don't know if you noticed that. How you can change it to, to who you're sending the message to. Awesome. Okay, this is cool. So exciting. So, I mean, give yourself a pat on the back because I'm telling you guys, getting on Zooms, getting on trainings is one of the most important things that you can do. Success leaves clues. And what do I mean by that? Any successful person in this business, they're always willing to learn and it never stops. You know, you always have to be educating yourself. For me, for example, I'm, I've been in the business for almost five years and I try to get on as many Zoom trainings as I possibly can. There's, there's never a time in my business where it doesn't matter the rank that I'm at where I'm gonna stop learning or that I ever feel as if I'm too good to, you know, that I know everything already, if that makes sense. So again, give yourselves a pat on the back. I mean, it's nine o'clock here, um, Eastern time, but you could be watching Netflix right now and with your family, but you're choosing to be here to grow yourself and grow your business. So that's super, super, super awesome. But if you guys don't know me, my name is Emily Worsing and I'm an ambassador diamond. We took the team to ambassador February of last year. So it's been basically almost a year and a half and it's been an amazing ride. I've been in the business, like I said, for it'll be five years at the end of October. And I started when I was 21 and I was a broke college student. That's literally was my story. That was me when I started. And, you know, I was struggling really bad with anxiety and depression. And a lot of it stemmed from uh, struggling with money. Like I was so scared of my debt, my, my student loans, and not being able to be like independent, really, right? So I just, I, I always have had that, I've always had a motive to want to do more. Like in college, I changed my major three times because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with my life and find something that filled me. So I started this business on a whim. I saw one post about it. I reached out to my enroller and I joined right on the spot. So if you are nervous about, um, you know, welcoming distributors or getting distributors and building a team, I promise you there are people out there that are like me who are gonna join you on the spot, but there are gonna be people, you know, and I'm gonna go through this a little bit as we go, but there's gonna be people who need to watch you guys. You've been in this business two months, two weeks, three months, one week, two weeks, like eight, eight months still, like four years, four months, two months, two days, a year. Guys, I've had some people joining me now who have been watching me for four and a half years, literally since I started. And I'm not saying that to like scare you or intimidate you. I mean, we, we're an ambassador team, right? So my point being is it's going to take time and you need to give yourself grace, but be trainable. Listen to your role or your upline, get on Zooms, get on trainings, you know, and just be consistent, right? So this isn't a get rich quick scheme. This isn't a pyramid scheme. You're not going to be making a bunch of money, you know, as soon as you start. It's, that's just not the name of the game. It's a business. You guys are business owners and that's so awesome. It's so awesome. And each and every one of you on here, like I I don't know every single person on here, but I know for a fact that you can do this business and you can be successful. That's how confident I am and how simple it is what we do, but the hardest part of it is staying consistent and putting in the work and being positive, right? Okay, so Taylor, so funny, I joined M on the spot, see? 
See, they're out there. Okay, so your first goal, if you haven't done that already, is your first six loyal customers and you're gonna get a $150 shopping spree. So going into that, I'm kind of gonna go over the basics. And when I do big Zooms like this, I kind of go over the blanket of the most important information because I will be here for 17 hours um, talking about everything that I've learned in the last five years. But, you know, we all work in, we all work in little different unique ways. A lot of things we do are consistent and the same, but I want you guys to figure a lot of that out on yourself through trial and error, right? And not only that, but I want you to put in the time to be watching other Zooms and watching Zoom trainings that go into more depth. So I mention this all the time because it's so stinking important. In the 10 Xers page, you click announcements at the top. That is where the most important stuff is, right? There's a few live training videos that I do and I go into detail about charting, right? Um, I show like the Ruby chart. I, sh I talk to you about promoting and I go into detail about that. And so I want you to utilize that, you know, after this Zoom, if you haven't already, tomorrow, whenever you can, and take it from there. Take it day by day, step by step, and just embrace the craziness I tell every single person who joins me, ignorance on fire, guys. It's ignorance on fire. So a little bit about myself too. So when I started this business, I didn't know what this business was. I knew nothing about it. I did not try one product when I joined or before I joined, I guess I should say. And so I was coming in blindsided. I literally was like a chicken with my head cut off. Who feels like that right now? Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat who feels like that. You're literally just like, I don't know what I'm doing. There's a million things I feel like I should be doing. What the heck? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> You're like freaking out. Okay. That is like, it's completely normal. It's so completely normal. 1000% normal. So you're, you're good. You're in the right, you're in the right place. Um, it's going to take you guys some time. And I keep saying that, but I'm going to go over uh, probably like six, five or six things that we do on a daily basis. So I want you guys to be taking notes. I want you to be taking notes. I want you to be paying attention, right. And focusing. Cause I, I see, you know, I've seen a lot of people on training zooms where they're just like not focusing. They're on their phones. If you're taking notes on your phone, I get it. It's different, but I want to help you guys as much as I possibly can. And, you know, I want to respect each other's time too. Right. So, um, doing these things, these five or six things daily is what is going to be the make or break of your success. And again, it's going to be trial and error, but I can tell you that most of what we do, like 95% of what we do is so stinking simple, a seven-year-old can do it, right? Now, you do sales. I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you. What we do is sales. <laughs> I know it might freak you out a little bit if it hasn't already. It did for me, right? But these are the things that you're going to learn through your enroller and through your upline. You're going to go over objections and how to handle objections. That does not come easy. No way, shape, form, right? Over time and having consistent conversations with new people every day and having them through your enroller, that's going to help you learn over time. Okay, for example, I'm starting to notice that whenever I talk to a potential distributor, I usually get five common objections right? I don't have time. I don't have money to join. You know, I'm too busy. I don't have a big network of people. Or I don't have a lot of friends. I don't use social media. So if you think about it, if people are giving you the same common objections, like five objections over time, you're going to learn how to master them. You're going to learn how to come back at them and be like, look, I totally understand that you don't have the time. I did not have the time either, but I didn't expect you to have the time, right? And I relate to them. I say I was working three jobs and going to school full time when I first joined, but we work all from our phones. And since you're on your phone anyway, why not get paid for it? And I just came up with that randomly because I just practiced that objection so many times over the last five years, right? So um, there's an objective objections list in 10Xers. So I use the search section in like every group that I'm in because sometimes I can't find things. So guys, in 10 there's a lot going on. There's a search bar. You can try typing an objection 
or like objections and then objections list and you'll find a thread that comes up for like commonly said objections kind of deal. If you can't find it again, ask your enroller, right? That's why we're here. So um, let's see, consistency and grace. I went over that. I'm gonna read off my notes here because I have ADHD. It's another fact about me. I get very distracted very easily. Um, again, it's not gonna happen overnight. You know, and you need to 1000% accept that right now if you haven't accepted that already. Because if you have the mentality of giving yourself a time frame, like if this, if I don't get make X amount of money or if I don't hit this title or this rank by July or August, then I'm quitting. If that is you, which I really hope it's not, then you, I, you just quit now. Right. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm very yellow. Um, my secondary color is red. So they mix together. But I'm being honest with you guys. And if I wasn't honest with you guys, I would be doing you a big disservice because you cannot give yourself a time frame in this business. People go at different paces. You don't know other people's stories. Right. You don't know if they came in this business with a large network of people already. Um, and if you do or you don't, whatever circumstance that you think you have, that is not going to determine your success. It's not going to determine your success. Will it slow it down a little bit? Maybe. I was working three jobs going to school full time when I first joined. I didn't have the time in the world to do this. Maybe someone else who joined near my time that I joined had the time in the world, right? And they promoted a little quicker than I did. Totally fine. Guess what? We're an ambassador diamond team, right? Doesn't matter. It's it's my story, right? And that that's all that matters, right? So I want you guys to keep that in mind. So, all right, I'm gonna start getting into the the things that we do every single day. And my main thing here is I want to help show you guys how to be more, how to produce more than just a, a steps to success within working two hours in your day. Right. And if you guys don't know what a step success is, you can find it in your back office in eSuite. Basically, what it is is a minimum, if it's a roadmap, basically, a monthly roadmap for enrollments, which is six loyal customers and three distributors minimum. I want to show you guys how to produce more than that and with using just two hours in your day. And if you're new, new, it doesn't have to be two hour bulk throughout your day right? Just those two hours and that's it. It can be 15, 20 minutes here or there, right? And sometimes you may have to sacrifice a half, getting up a half hour earlier or going to bed a half hour later, but I guarantee you, I, pro I promise you that you're not going to be thinking about the half hour of sleep that you missed when you open up your paycheck the next month. I promise you that, right? So how I've always worked my business is trying to hit multiple birds with one stone. I'm like, every time I say that, I'm like, am I saying this right? So hitting multiple birds with one stone. And when I decided that was when I decided to take this business seriously, because we're busy. We do, we do have circumstances. And I don't want you guys to think that you're not a victim, but of your circumstances, but I want you to know that you can work through them just like we all do. That's why we're all here to help each other and to grow and to learn. So first thing that we do every day, we post. It's so crucial and it's probably out of your comfort zone 1000%. Comment, comment it to you below if posting on your page is like the weirdest thing to you because you're used to posting like once or twice a month. We got a good amount, got a good amount. So thinking normal. And Jenna, I love it. <laughs> Embrace it. Okay, so um, again, so thinking normal. But I hate to break it to you guys. A lot of the things that we do, it's going to be out of your comfort zone. It is. And to make you feel a little better, it's going to get 10 times easier over time. But I also want to say that I know a lot of the things that we do involving social media is a, a lot of Okay, the way we feel, I guess I should say not what we do. Um, the way we feel is because of what of society, basically. So my best advice is, 
other children around. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it PG. Don't give a damn about what other people think of you, right? Because your friends, your family don't pay your bills. They're not gonna pay off your debt. They're not gonna bring you home to your children so you can be with them whenever you want, right? They're not gonna get you in an apartment and help you live independently, right? Who's gonna do that? You are, 100%, right? So you have to just really put some blinders on and focus on why you were here and what your mission is. So we post on social media every day. This, your story is one of the most important things because everyone sees your story if they're using stories, which most people are. Not everyone sees your posts on your page, so Instagram and Facebook, right? We have this thing called an algorithm. So basically what that means is the people that you interact with most on your social media, those are the people that are going to see your posts. So, um, Kayla, I'm glad you needed to hear that. Awesome. Now, another question. I want you to comment a three in the chat if this has happened to you or it's happening to you right now where you are posting, but you're like, no one is commenting or liking my posts. You're like, I feel like everyone either hates me or like something is wrong. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I love when I get the multiple numbers. Okay. So. There's two things. Actually, there's three. First thing is, I'm be honest. Maybe it is your posting. You guys cannot be posting advertisements. They're not, there should not be words on your post. There should be words like in your caption, but on a picture, there shouldn't be words, right? In any way, shape, or form. It shouldn't have black, green, and bling. It shouldn't have like just a picture of the cleanse and it's like zoomed in and it says like cleanse, text this number, or it works on the picture. You don't want to be, we're, we're not advertisement people. We don't do that, right? Um, people pay for that on social media and it does it for them automatically. You are a person that is living your daily life and you're bringing the business opportunity and the products into that. You are sharing the products and you're sharing the business opportunity, right? So think about that. Think about how you're posting. If you, if you were to go to your page, right? If you were to go to your page and you looked at your posts and your pictures, would you automatically think like this girl's a salesperson? Like she just is selling something and it looks super spammy, right? And you need to be honest with yourself. If that's what you're thinking, then you need to change your posting up a little bit and it's fine. You will learn. When I first joined, it was not good. It wasn't good compared to where I am now, but I want to give you guys, I want you guys to take a deep breath because it does take time. Now, maybe that's not you. Maybe it's not. Second thing is, factually, and I really need to look up the percent, but I'm pretty sure that it's like 35% of your friends on your Facebook and Instagram actually will see your post. It's like, it's a small percent. It's like 35%, right? And with the algorithm that we have, we have many tips that are going to help with that. One, posting things that are interactive on your page, your Facebook, or your Instagram, and then your story, right? So for example, it can be something so stinking simple as saying like, you know, I'm looking for new recipes, comment your favorite recipe below. And why? Why, why does this help with the algorithm? Why does, why does this help for more people to see your posts? This is because the more that people you are interacting, the more that your friends on social media interact with you and you interact back, so you reply to their comment every single time, make sure you reply to every single comment from your posts, the more that these people are going to see your posts. That's it. Well, that's not it. But that, I mean, that's really, that is really it. You know, so if you guys go on my Facebook, if you already saw it today, I did the toilet paper question and it blew up. 
it blew up, right? I used host to post for that, but tomorrow morning, I'm most likely going to post like a product post, um, looking for like product models or something because I had so many comments on it and so much interaction that like the next thing that I post, most likely a good amount of people or more people are going to see it. And I hope I'm not confusing the heck out of you guys, but my best advice to finish this off is be interactive with your posts. You can go to my page and you could copy some things that I do, but you have to be changing some words and some emojis around. On to my other one. If you are copying and pasting other people's stuff word for word, it's going to kill your algorithm. So if you take something from my page, change some words, change some emojis around. That was a tongue twister. All right, last thing. Actually, two more, sorry. <laughs> If you are clicking that share button on your Facebook constantly all day, it's going to hurt your algorithm, right? So if like I were to go to your Facebook and all I see is like share, 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 share of all these posts, it's going to hurt your algorithm. It's not genuine. It's not coming from you. It's coming from someone else. You're helping someone else's algorithm, right? So that doesn't mean that I don't share things. Like I shared something last night, but it's very minimal and I try to minimize that. So how can you do that? Let's say someone posted a funny picture that you wanted to share, save the picture and post it yourself on your Facebook. Usually they have like the copyright on it. I know like people get weirded out by that, but most likely they have the copyright on it. And honestly, if they don't have the copyright on it, then you technically can take it and post it yourself, right? So um, if it's a picture, do that, right? If it's a video, I mean, I don't know if you can save a video and post it yourself, but stay away from the dang share button. Are these tips helping you guys? Give me some nods, give me some love. Is anyone super confused about this? This is, this is super, super, super important. And I really wanted to really dig deep into this today because the algorithm can definitely be confusing for sure. It can definitely be a little confusing, but I want to share as many tips as I can to help you guys out. Awesome. I think this is the last thing. You need to be showing your dang beautiful faces. You guys have to. You have to be showing your faces. You have to be showing your faces. How can people interact with you if they don't even know if like you're a real person? You know what I'm saying? Like you need to be showing your face, right? And I don't wanna hear the, I work all the time, I don't ever get ready or look good. Listen guys, I'm telling you right now, this is my biggest secret. Same here, even though I do this business full time. You know what I do? I'll take one day and I'll do my hair and makeup and I'll change my outfit like 13 times. Just kidding, not that many times, but a good amount of times. And I will take a bunch of different pictures. Boom, I'm set for photos for a while, right? Or every time you go out, take a picture with a friend, take a picture with a family member. We do that anyways, save memories. You can use that as a post, right? These are little tips, little tips that are gonna help extremely, but you guys have to be showing your dang faces. You have to. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay, um, for, for Instagram, I do not post on my Instagram page every single day. I do not do that. Um, I'm not huge with the algorithm on Instagram, meaning I don't 100%, I, I'm more confident with the algorithm on Facebook and how it works. Um, but for, or for Facebook and how it works, did I say Instagram? But I'm not as confident myself on Instagram. All I know is I do not post every single day um, on my Instagram. But what I do and what I'm super intentional with, you guys need to write this down, stories, 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 stories. You need to be utilizing your stories every single day. And I'm gonna share this super important tip and it will make all the difference for you guys, I guarantee it. You wanna be posting, instead of posting all your stories one time of the day, you wanna be posting them in like three different chunks. So like morning, noon, and night. Why? Because when you post a story, it boosts you to the front 
of people's stories. And then let's say you post all your stories in the beginning of the day, and all of your friends that are, you know, other people who are posting stories throughout the day, your story is going to be going way to the end. And no, like, I don't remember the last time I've scrolled through stories to like see a story all the way at the bottom. Like people just really don't do that. And if you do that, then you're not working your business. You have way too much time on your hands. I'm just kidding. Um, so if you post three times throughout your day, you're going to be constantly boosted to the front of people's stories, right? And when they click it, if they didn't see your story in the morning, they're going to click it, see your afternoon story or see your morning story first. And then your afternoon, you guys get what I'm saying. You're going to be constantly boosted to the front of people's stories, which means more people are going to be viewing your stories. The end. <laughs> um, love that. Okay, Carrie, that makes sense. So Carrie said, mine roller is always first in my story list. So this can mean a few things. You may be, um, one, she's constantly posting throughout the day. Or for, so that means she's always boosting to the front. Or maybe you guys interact a lot with each other. So this is just, love it, love it. Okay, uh, another tip for stories. So I post a business opportunity story, a product story every single day. I post something product, something business opportunity, and then you want to be posting normal life stuff throughout it. I, you know, you don't want to go to your story and I'm clicking it 15 times every single day and it's, it works, it works, it works, it works, it works. You don't want to do that, right? You want to be having people come to you for value more than just the business opportunity in some way, shape, or form. For me, my value, it's usually my dogs, me being silly, me doing something crazy, um, or my dogs, food. I mean, I have a lot of highlights. I have a bucket list highlight, so that's a lot of what I post. So em embrace it. It could be makeup for you. It could be hair for you. It could be clothes for you, right? It could be your children. I don't know. It could be anything. We're all so different. It could be books. It could be, um, you know, a lot of what I post in my stories is self-development. Like I just want to empower people and make them feel better, right? So who, who wouldn't want to go to my story and feel better, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's, 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 so it's so important. I love it. Camp, yes, camping, travel, cooking, gardening. Thank you. Exactly. So be you, embrace it, post in between your it works posts. Dog mom. Yes. You're so funny. Okay. Let's see. Another thing that you need to be doing every single day is you need to be using the products. You have to be using the products every single day. If you don't have products on you yet, you need to go and buy one. You need to go and buy one. If you can't afford it, then you need to ask your applying your enroller if you can borrow a product from them. This is how important using the products work. It not works. This is important. This is how important using the products are. Sorry guys. Night zooms for me are super rough. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a quick story. I quote unquote use the products, not really, for the first like eight, eight, nine months in my business. Use them, aka I like sipped the greens or like took a sip of the coffee or like took one hair, skin, and nails and didn't take the rest. That was me using the products. I studied abroad, you know, um, I think it was like my 10th, 9th, and 10th month in and I brought hair skin and nails with me I don't know why I decided to take them every day consistently while I was studying abroad makes no sense but I just did my hair grew literally like four inches in a month and a half I came back my 11th month in the business and I enrolled I remember 49 customers because I was pissed off I didn't hit 50 and it was because I was so excited and mind blown about my testimony and my before and after pictures that I just wanted to share it with everyone. Crazy, right? So being a product of a product is so stinking huge. Now, does that mean you can't enroll customers? No way. I think it is 
quite honestly selfish if you're doing this business and you have the opportunity to share testimonies and results of other people and other products and you're not doing that because there are thousands and thousands of them and they have changed people's lives in ways that it that is insane so even if i have my own results of certain products i'm still sharing other people's you know i'm still sharing products that i don't use every day uh, with other people because we have you know a, a large variety of them and they can be implemented in anyone's life sorry i'm reading the comments perfect okay you guys are talking kind of like talking to yourself in there all right so another thing you guys need to be adding to your network every day you need to be adding people on instagram adding people on facebook you can't possibly be you know marketing and talking to the same x amount of people like for forever just doesn't work that way and the the one huge thing that you want to avoid, especially when you're new, is you know going through your entire warm market and not growing your network as you're going through and working through your warm market. And then one day you're like, I literally have no one. I've talked to every single friend, family, and friend on social media. And you're like, crap, what do I do now? You want to avoid that. You want to avoid that. So you need to be adding people. What do I do? I add like, I don't know, each day is kind of different, but I usually do on average, maybe like 15 to 20, 15 people an hour on Instagram. Like that's just kind of my number, right? Um, or every other hour. And what I do is I go down my timeline, I find a picture with a bunch of likes and I add the girls on there. Or I will search on Instagram, dog mom because dog moms are going to relate to me right or i will search on instagram bucket list for example because i know those people are going to relate to me right or i'll just search people in or places in my area and i will go find a picture with a bunch of likes and i'll add people from there but i usually add from my followers already i'll just go to my followers friends and i will add girls. I only, I only add girls. Um, Facebook is different because you have a 5,000 max and you're like unlimited on Instagram. So I probably do, I, I, I probably do 30 to 40 on Facebook. Now with host the post, um, I, my network is growing through host posts on Facebook. So I don't intentionally add people that's outside of host posts now. And we can go over that. We're going to go over that in a little bit. But I would say 30 a day is really is, is good. Um, all right. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Self-development. Okay. You guys need to be self-developing every single day in this business. Who knows what self-development is? Drop a four in the comments. Who actually practices it consistently every single day? <laughs> Drop a me. See, I'm being interactive. I'm helping the algorithm. Just kidding. There's no algorithm on here. Is there? I don't think so. Okay, so most people get super confused about what self-dev is. So that's why they don't do it. Or I have some people who tell me that it's dumb. And mo most, most of those people who say that, it's also because they don't understand what it is. So guys, you don't have to like sit there and meditate for a half hour, right? You don't have to journal. You don't have to do anything that you do not want to do or that you don't do not want to practice right there are many forms of self-development i do not meditate it's a goal of mine in the future right but um i do self-development in a different way for me i love to read books right and it's not you know action thriller books it's um example think and grow rich 
Odysseus. This is an amazing book, one of my favorite books ever. And you guys, again, can ask your upline, your enroller um, about, if you guys want to drop some of your self-dev books, you can also listen to audiobooks too. And a lot of stuff is also on YouTube. Can you guys drop some of your favorite self-dev things that you can, yeah, you like to listen to? I want, I want like specifics. I like that. Ashley Mayfield podcast. So good. Podcasts are awesome. I also like them because they are like short. Um, so Jade Hooper as well. If someone wants to spell out Jade Hooper, thank you, Katie. Pam Souter, she's our CNO. She has a podcast too. Rachel Hollis is amazing. Have you guys ever heard or read Girl, Wash Your Face? Fire. Uh, one of my favorite books ever I listened to when I first joined was um, Why Am I Blanking on This by Jen Sincero. What are Jen Sincero's books? Someone help me out, one of them. Why am I blaming on this? Oh, hi God, one more thing. So good. Girl, stop apologizing. Oh, how to be a badass at making money. Is that what it is? Wow, it's been a long time. But Jen Sincero is amazing too. So I, hopefully you guys are kind of like getting a little understanding. Right. And it, and everyone works in certain ways when it comes to self dev, like sometimes there are days when I need, um, someone screaming at me, like telling me that I'm worth it. Right. So I'll watch a YouTube video. Okay. So the YouTube links that are coming on here are great. Um, someone said, where did I miss it? Where did it go? Anyways, I can't, I'm not gonna look for any more and distract you guys, but um, you know, save these, save these that people are commenting and I want you guys to like trial and error it. It's, it's so important to the fact that this always has to come first. Like you can be putting in the work and putting in the work and putting in the work every single day, but if you're not growing your mindset, if you're not learning how to, be more positive. If you're not learning how to, you know, have more energy, right? If you're not learning how to help others and why you should do that and why it relates to success, you know, it's going to hold you back. This business is 20% skill and 80% mindset. And I'm just going to stop there with that because I can talk about self-dev all day. Okay. Another important thing we do every day is we build relationships and we interact with people. So we don't just interact like I was talking about posting things and having people like answer questions on, on your um, posts. But for example, what I do is after I'm adding people, when I'm getting friend requests back or people are accepting them, I'll go to their page and I'll like two photos and I'll comment a genuine comment on one of their pictures, right? So I'm kind of like, hey, I'm Emily, you don't know me, but I'm real and I'm being genuine. I'm a genuine person. I know I'm a stranger, but you know, I'm peeping in. <laughs> That's like my definition. So something super genuine. And I suggest asking a question too, you know? I mean, it can be something, you know, graduation is right now. So I'm just, I'll comment on a stranger's photo who just graduated and I'll, I'll be, I'll say, I'm so excited for you. This is amazing. Congratulations. I love your dress. Like, where did you get it from? Just an example, you know, um, but super genuine on people's posts and just being you, building rapport. Love that. Love that so much. Okay. So how's everyone doing? We good? Should we stretch really quick? Should we wake up? Move a little bit, moving, get our blood flowing. All right, okay, so some of you may have been introduced to host posts already, some of you may not, but there's two ways that I work my business. I do both. You don't have to do exactly what I do. I'm just gonna tell you guys how I mass enroll how I enroll a minimum of 10 distributors a month and a minimum of 30 to 35 loyal customers a month, minimum. And I work both. 
I work host posts and I work what we call like product model or product tester messages, right? And we're hitting two birds, multiple birds with one stone. And I'm gonna show you guys my magic here, okay? So I'm gonna start with Instagram first. This is a message that I literally have been using minus like a few words that I've changed up throughout the years just to make it a little different for almost five years. Do not copy and paste this word for word. You can work off of it, change some words, change some emojis around. It should be like you. It should sound like you. It should sound, even though it, it may not, like change some words around. You know, if you're a cat mom, put like a cat heart eye emoji. I don't know, you know, so just change some things around um, so it's not 100% exact. I send this message out every single day to my new followers. I send goal is like eight an hour or every other hour. Maybe you work throughout the day, right? So you can wake up, you add people, send out eight to 10 of these messages. I've been doing this every single day for almost five years. People love it, I love it, it just works, right? This is the first thing that I learned when I joined and it's the only thing that I have never, ever, 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 ever changed. Um, all right, I'm not gonna go into having a conversation with people, that you're gonna work through that step-by-step -step with your enroller. Now, what else do I do? This is new that I've been doing within the last year and has taken the team to ambassador a little over a year ago. Host posts. I do host posts on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to continue with Instagram. So about, I would say give it a minimum of like two weeks after you send this message out, I will send this message to people in the past that I've sent the first message to. I'll send this one to, whether they answer the first message or not. I'll send this one. Hitting multiple birds with one stone. You guys catching my drift here so far? I'm not even done yet. I'm not done yet. Now, if they do not answer both of these, I do not message them for like a long time, like months, right? They don't answer you twice. I give it, I keep building my followers, messaging new people every day. And, you know, I don't come back to these people for a while. Now, let's say they answer the um, giveaway one. You know, I'm gonna say, mm -mm. how do you remember to go back to them? That's a really good question. Um, checklist, alarms on my phone. Aaron still despises it, but I'm not a checklist person and I'm not a planner person, I'll be honest with you guys, but you got to do what you have to do to remember these things. So, um, sorry, let me find this script super quick for you guys. I don't know why I don't have it in here. So, for example, what you can do is you can have, if you have a planner or if you have a checklist, you should have a daily planner or a daily checklist. Once a week, you can have like something circled for once a week that says, go, go back through followers, send HAP message, right? And have like a little box to check it off. Or you can do this daily and do it in small chunks, right? You could go back, you know, a couple weeks down your followers, for example, and you can send this out to 10 people. And then the next day you can go back and send it out to another 10 people. So it's it's just finding your groove and what works best for you, right? I'm being honest with you guys, I'm not super organized when it comes to stuff like that. I just have a checklist and I know that I need to do it, right? So I find that what works best for me throughout my schedule. Um, yeah, does, it, does that help you out? I'm being super honest with you guys, so it's organizational thing. So we all work, we all work differently. So whether it's a planner, reminders in your phone, alarms, I mean, a notebook, 
a check a daily checklist that you have on the wallpaper of your phone whatever you have to do and then over time it's going to be a habit 10 9 out of 10 things that i do every single day i just naturally know how to do it just from practice what no i cannot speak when to do it who are when we're why literally right so you just have to find what works best for you and there's other zoom trainings as well that go over um checklists or that go over ways to stay organized and whatnot so hold on one second okay getting back into hitting multiple birds with one stone And yes, this will be recorded and posted. So again, this is for Instagram. I'm going back, I'm messaging all those older people about host posts. They answer and say, yeah, what do I have to do? This is the message that I send. So for Instagram, I have them get stories up on their story. Facebook, we do it on their wall. Um, again, I'm not gonna go into more detail, but you can ask your enroller how you can find stories to give people and how to set that up so you have them ready to go. Here we go, hitting multiple birds of one stone, guys. This is how, I swear to gosh, I have a minimum of 10 new potential distributors that I talked to today for the first time. Two day, first time. They post it for me. Right, this is what I say back. This is key, this is key. We're hitting like three birds of one stone here. Guys, it's just about asking. That's it, you just have to speak up. That's it, it's, I swear to gosh, a minimum of 10 new potential distributors I've been talking to today simply from working through hitting multiple birds of one stone. You know, I sent out a message about the giveaway. They not only posted for me, so whether I give them a product post or an opportunity post, whatever it is, but I'm also asking them like, hey, have you ever thought about making an extra income from social media? It's literally the same thing that you did for me by posting for me. Boom, hitting multiple birds of one stone. Guys, in this business, we make money by enrolling distributors and enrolling customers, right? So why work harder if you could just work smarter, right? So stinking simple, so simple. One person that I talked to hitting three different birds, <laughs> right? Are you guys saving these? Please tell me you're saving these. Yes, you can, ha ha. Thank you, thank you sis for reminding me. This is awesome. Shout out to Elise. I'm not sure if you're on here. She gave me this idea and I utilize it all the time. So this is where kind of, I don't know what you want to call it, a science comes in, guys. So this is how, again, I work my business. The first half of the month for host to post, I am giving people an opportunity post. So an oppor a business opportunity for them to post, like, um, you know, a now hiring or opportunity for them to become distributors. The first half for host post just on my Instagram, just on my Instagram. Right, so if you're just constantly focusing on customers, right, you're having people post for you about products on Instagram and Facebook, you're messaging people about products on Instagram and Facebook, and you're not bringing in the business opportunity, it's not going to, you're not gonna enroll distributor the second, or even maybe the first week that you decide you're gonna start talking and building your potential distributor list. So you wanna be doing it early on right everyone's like give me that message Emily. oh gosh i lost it it's 
still learning how to use my computer that I've had forever. So awesome. Now we're hitting like four burrs with one stone. So let's say, you know, I send the message about asking them about the business opportunity and they say, you know what? I'm like so busy right now. An extra income is just not even on my mind. I'm so sorry, etc. Listen, I'm like, no problem. I completely understand and I move on. Give it two weeks. You can send this product one out to them, right? You're literally hitting like four birds with one stone. But I do want to tell you guys that it is crucial and it is, you have to be intentional about consistently growing your network. You don't want to focus too much on the same people because this is where posting comes in, right? So maybe, you know, you're not getting a ton of people answering you and saying, yes, 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 yes. It's fine. It happens. That's why we post, right? We're planting the seed by sending someone a message. They're saying, who the heck is this girl? They're going to go to your page. They're going to creep your page and they're either going to see posts or they're not going to see posts. And I'm sure you would rather them see posts. Bye. Good night. Love you. I'll call you. Aaron's heading to work. Okay. Awesome. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, let's move on to Facebook. Does anyone have any questions about this? Just what we're talking about right now for Instagram before we move on to Facebook. Love that, Meg. I don't know if Stacy's on, but Stacy had an amazing tip today about Facebook for, for happy birthdays and giving people like a birthday discount. It was so good. I'm gonna have to post it after this. Unless you're on here, Stace. Okay, no questions? All right, cool. Well, if you're on Stacey's team and you know about this, you should start sharing the comments for everyone else. All right, so Facebook. Um, I'm literally doing the same thing. You know, I'm posting about the business I'm posting about the giveaway and I'm also messaging people about the giveaway, right? I use the same exact message as I do on Instagram. Um, and then the posting is a little different. So if you go to my Facebook, you'll see the toilet paper post. That's an example that you guys can use. Just change up some words. And I post probably three times a month on my Facebook about the giveaway. Um, and then I message people as well because maybe you don't get as many comments. Right. So something that's super, super important that I want to make sure that you guys are following is a host to post tracker. You need to be getting up giveaway host posts, product host posts, and distributor host posts. Not just all product, not just all distributor, not just all giveaway. Right. If you want to utilize host post and get the best results out of it, you have to be using a host post tracker. It's in 10 Xers under albums. Literally says host post tracker and there's multiple of them. Oh, thank you, Carrie. So she sends this message out. She'll go and say, you know how you like can see people's birthdays on Facebook? So she says happy birthday to them. And then I think she says the next day or like two days later, she'll send them this message. I was like, that is so stinking awesome. I've never thought of that. Such a good idea. All right, let me see. That's it. That's the basics I want to go over. All right, guys, we have five minutes for questions. Now, for host posts, guys, 10Xers announcements at the top. Literally one of the first videos up there is HAP training, right? You can go on YouTube and you can type in host post training. There's tons out there. There's tons, there's tons. No one has any questions. I know, I know someone has a question and no question is a dumb one. You can send it to me privately. Oh, block them, Tessa. If you get any creepers, block them. <laughs> 
just hit the block button really quick, as fast as you can. All right. So is it always the 15th and the first? Oh, giveaway. No, it's not. The host post giveaway is different every single month. All the details are under announcements in 10Xers. So there, it's always different. Um, some months it is similar, but all of the details is under the host post thread in 10Xers. Okay. Um, Facebook, you always want to be public. Host to post is going to be kind of tough for you if it's not. I mean, genuinely, I guess, I guess host to post wouldn't be as tough if you were public, but as far as algorithm, you know, and as far as it just works a little differently, you know, it, it just, I, I suggest Facebook public for is that going to make or break your success? No, that's just a suggestion. Instagram, especially when you're new and until you hit like that, like eight, nine, 10,000, I suggest private for Instagram. Again, these are my suggestions. That's just how, that's just, again, my suggestion. If anyone has a better one, you can ask, but I, again, I don't think it's going to make or break you. Um, I just noticed personally from over time that I get more people following me back on Instagram. If my Instagram is private because people want to create my page. And if you're public, they're going to see it already and may not like the odds, you know, less people will be following you back. Do you always post a product post on Facebook the day after you post an interactive one? Love that question. So whenever I do, so sometimes I'll post something and it's not even interactive and the post blows up, right? It can be something about family. It can be like me and Aaron getting married, right? And I'm like, heck yeah, my algorithm, this is awesome. I'm posting a business post after this. So anytime like a post blows up, you get a lot, you know, a good amount of likes or comments. Um, it doesn't have to be a product one, but I'll do either a business opportunity one or a product one for sure. I think that's just like a small little tip that, I mean, why not take advantage? Why not take advantage and do that? Should I not post every other day about the giveaway I get slow? So I think po I'll post every other day about the giveaway on my story. 1000% on your Facebook, I don't suggest it. Why? Consistency with posting is very important on your pages, but not the same things. You want to be switching your posts up. Your posts want to be different, right? Your followers want to see different. People use social media because they want to be entertained, right? They want value. So if you're just like constantly posting the same thing over and over again, I feel like that's why it may feel slow to you, Katie. So yes, if, like I said, I post about the giveaway three times on my Facebook a month. So if I feel as if it's slowing down, I will go and message people about it to speed it up again. All right, Kayla sent me a question privately. When men host posts for you, which promo would you suggest? So. Some of you are probably wondering about guys posting for me. If they want an entry, if they like comment about wanting an entry, I will message them about it and I'll give them a product post. I'll give them like a coffee or thermal Fidex, for example. Yes, okay. I love that. So good, so good. That's a giveaway host post. So you wanna make sure that you're giving people the giveaway, host to post script, as well as product and business opportunity. This is gonna help grow your network because all of their friends are gonna be posting, you know, wanting an entry. So you're adding all of these people you're growing your network and now you're messaging these people asking if they want an entry. 
And then when they say yes, then I give them the product one or the business opportunity one. All right, someone asked, I turned mine into a business profile. Is that affecting me? Um, if you're new to working social media as a business, I would make it private for now and build your network first. But I don't know what your social media looks like. You could be like killing it and know what you're doing. So I know a lot of people work their business like public with a lot of hashtags. So it's, it's totally up to you. And you know, it, it's a trial and error thing. I just suggest being new to keep your Instagram private for a little while to grow your network. Yes, love that. Everyone should have your Instagram stories linked to your Facebook stories. It's in settings under Instagram. Save you so much time. Um, you go to... You go to settings in Instagram, you click account, and then linked accounts. You want to link your Facebook. And then when you go to post a story, there's going to be a Facebook symbol there. You want to click that Facebook symbol. You just have to click it once. And then it'll give you the option. Mm -mm -mm. You are welcome. Yes. Love that, love that, love that. Thank you. Long do you keep checking the post people did for you? Amanda, thank you for asking that question. Love that. So make sure every time when people post something for you on Facebook, you save it into collections or you write their name down on your host post tracker. I save it into collections. I'm busy a lot throughout the day. I know that before I go to bed, I need to get a minimum of 10 host posts up, but I am not physically like hearing my host post tracker around every day, all day. I'm just being realistic, but I know that I'm getting up a minimum of 10. Now, what do I do? I save them in collections. So when someone posts to you, click the three dots, Top right of their post, click save post. You can create a collection and name it June half, June host post. And you're saving each post in that collection. So then you go back on your Facebook, you click the three lines down here, you click saved right here, boom. Those are all of my posts that I say that people have posted me. Every single morning when I wake up, before I do anything, I follow up. I follow up with every single, I didn't go over follow up for the daily tasks. Someone on here definitely caught that. You must have caught that. I did not go over follow up. Follow up is so stinking crucial. You gotta be doing it every single day. I wake up and we're, we're five minutes past. So thank you guys for staying on here. I wake up, I follow up. That's the first thing I do. I follow up through my texts, through any conversations I had with people yesterday. I follow up in my DM, any conversations I had from yesterday that ended, and I follow up on my host posts. There are, I'll go back from someone who posted for me a week ago and notice I missed comments. And I'm like, oh my God, my heart, right? But this is why you have to be intentional with following up in any way, shape or form. But this is just the easiest way to do it because when you go to saved items, you can just click on their post and then you could see the comments there and see if you missed any. Mm. Now, how long do I keep checking them for? All month. Like I'll go probably two or three times a month back to the first person who posted for me that month. Victoria, this is a huge example of follow-up. If someone said they post for you and you don't see their post, they didn't do it, you say, hey, Tessa, I know you said you wanted an entry into the giveaway. I don't want you to miss out. Like, are you still interested? Or, hey, Hannah, were you still interested? I don't want you to miss out on this giveaway. Or, hey, Jenna, did you post yet? I didn't see it on your wall. Like, just be super casual about it. Be super casual, right? But 
the most important thing is doing the dang follow-up. Um, I'll probably go through last month's follow-up, I mean, last month's host to post, the first week of, like, the host post in May, I'll follow up, you know, a few days into the first week of June, if that makes sense. But I'm, che I'm checking May's posts, like, all throughout May. So, you know, if it's been a few weeks, I'm kind of, you know, the, the comments are slowing down or they're done. I love these questions. These are so good. Okay, so Emily, for giveaways, if someone posts for you, where do you put what they posted under collection? So I think that's what you're asking when I was just talking about. You click the three dots on the top right of their post, you click save. You save it to a collection. And then what I just showed you, you go to Facebook, you click the three lines at the bottom right, you click saved, and then you'll see it pop up right there. Amanda, I'll keep checking like a week after the giveaway is done because that post that they posted for you may be about a product or maybe about the business opportunity, or even if it was a post about the giveaway and that giveaway is over, I'll still message them and say, hey, you know that giveaway is over, but there's another one this month. Love that, Taylor. Victoria, I, that's what I just went over. You click the three lines in the bottom right of Facebook. I don't know if I'm going too quick, but I want you guys to see the three lines. Oh gosh, right here. And then it brings up these. And then it's gonna say saved. You click saved and then you have them all right here. So these are my recent ones. Responses on Instagram DMs. Is that what you mean? You just gotta keep building. That's it, you just gotta keep building, you gotta keep going. The more you build, the more consistent you are, you know, the, the more the the more flow of network that's coming in and out the more consistent you are about posting about the coffee for example every single morning i guarantee you that person that you messaged those people that you messaged a year ago that all said no to you if you're posting about this product every single day they're going to be coming to you they're they're going to be coming to you right one one thousand percent guys when you first i'm going to finish off right here when you first join this business people need to trust you there are people who join this business and they quit and i hope that's not you but a lot of people are watching you maybe they don't think you're being serious about it right maybe that's why they're not coming to you immediately from your posts but i'm telling you once you build that trust with your followers and you're posting about this coffee that you love you're posting about this collagen that you love you know you're you're sharing the wraps that you love whatever it is and you're sharing them daily i guarantee you when you give yourself time you will start to find that more and more and more and more people are going to be coming to you you have to build that trust, 1,000%. Your booty girl? Who the, heck is, who the heck is iPhone? All right, we're gonna end this Zoom now. I hope you guys have an amazing night and thank you all for getting on.